Hey everyone, this is a tutorial on how to create a fantasy gymnastics team on the website Gymletics. This was requested by a couple of people online, so we're going to walk you through the steps so you can follow along and get your teams on Gymletics before the deadline. Step number one is going to be creating an account on Gymletics. So you're going to go to gymletics.io. You'll see it in the address bar up here, but we'll also link it in the description down below. Once you have an account, you'll need to create your team. So your team is whatever list of gymnasts you've drafted, either with a group of friends privately or through like an organized group, probably on social media. So like Facebook, a lot of people do it on Twitter or X. Whatever team you drafted is going to be what you're going to be entering into Gymletics. So step number one is going to be naming your team. So you're going to come over here to the left-hand side, hit create a team, and then you're going to come over where it says enter a team, and you're going to put your team name. For the sake of this video, we're just going to call this one test. You can honestly call your team whatever you want. Some people like to get creative. We personally just usually call it whatever the theme for the league is. If there is one, like for example, we have a team this year that's the alphabet team. Here, I can actually pull up our account and show you what it looks like. So like right here, you'll see that we have, this is the test team, but we have like a wheel categories team. We have a podcast team, which is all of our podcast guests. We love doing that one. Yeah. So the alphabet team you'll see here, this is a team where everyone in the league was following the same theme. Everybody could only draft one gymnast for each letter of the alphabet. And that was a rule that everybody in the league was following, but not all leagues run that way. Like for example, our podcast team or our freshman team, those are themes that we just personally decided to do when we were doing this draft, but other people were doing, you know, whatever it is that they wanted to do with their drafts. So you can name the team wherever you want. Honestly, just whatever helps you remember, especially if you're like us and you have a lot of fantasy teams, you'll want a way to remember what team is what. So we usually just call it something easy to help us remember, like this is our freshman, this is our podcast team, alphabet, etc. Next, whoever is the commissioner of your league is going to send a direct link for the league. And once you click it, it's going to look like this. It's going to open up a list of all the teams that you have that aren't assigned to a specific league. And you can click join on that team that you want to assign to that league. Ta-da. And then it'll look like this. So you'll see two tabs, one that says draft, one that says league. The one that says league is going to have all the basic information about the league. So, for example, like dual meet weekends do you just average the two meets together do you take the, just the high score from the two meets it also specifies you know how many athletes you put up in your lineup and how many scores are counting like for example this test league is 10 up 5 count it will also show you everyone that's in the league so this one obviously we it's fake we just created this <laughs> there's only purple twist twins which is us and then whoever gym fan 27 is that's who Ashley created <laughs> i'm like sure why not but there will typically be like anywhere from, I would say, like five to 20, depending on the league that you're in, how many people they have. But they won't show up until they click that link and enter their teams as well. But yes, the more people you play with, every time you refresh it, it feels like more and more people join. And it's because more and more people are adding their teams. So going over to the draft tab, this is where you're going to enter all of the gymnasts that you've drafted. You'll see that there's different ways that you can organize. You can do it by average, NQS, high score. You can do it by class. You can search by school. Or you can just type in the name of the gymnast if you know exactly who it is that you're going for. So Brittany's just plugging in some random gymnasts here. Most teams, at least any team that we've been a part of, you just draft 20 gymnasts. But you'd enter in all of the gymnasts that you drafted and make sure if you're like us where you have like 10,000 teams that you're drafting the correct team to the correct league because otherwise if you draft even just one gymnast run it's probably somebody that someone else has on their team and you're going to mess up like everybody else's draft list if you're not careful yeah so just draft the people that you specifically drafted in your league and usually the league will have a spreadsheet you can remind yourself if you have a lot of teams like we do and you're like wait who did i draft on this team just check the spreadsheet and make sure you're entering the correct athletes and that's pretty much it. The website closes on December 31st at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So all teams have to be entered on Gymletics by then. And then you'll get your teams assigned to you the following day. And just to clarify, once you enter all the gymnasts that you have in your league, you don't actually have to do anything beyond this point. Once you have their names all listed here in the correct order and only the people that you drafted on your team, this will automatically populate and give you the athletes that you drafted without you having to like 
you know, hit a submit button or anything like right. that. So you might kind of feel like once you do this, you're like, I'm missing a step. Like, what do I do now? Like, like where's you're the done good. button? Right. You're good. Just put them in and then let it be. Just make sure that when you click league, that you're actually assigned to a league. If you do that, you're good to go. You'll know here because it'll show you the league members. You'll see the league settings and you'll see the league name at the top where it says test. That's how you know you're in a league and then you're good to go after that. Now, real quickly, for people that want to draft a team, but they don't have a specific private league that they're joining, you can pretty much follow these same steps, but then just not assign a team to a league. And what will happen on December 31st is it'll assign you to a public league. For a public league, ideally, you'd want to draft like 150 to 200 gymnasts. Honestly, I think you can do more than that. You want to just draft plenty of gymnasts just to make sure that you not only get people that you know, but people that you actually want on your team. Otherwise, it's going to default to college gym news consistency queens draft list which may not be a bad team like you'll probably get some solid picks in there but to be safe yeah we try and do like 150 to 200 usually that works for us and it works the same exact way whether you're in a private or a public league but the difference is that you don't have to go like finding a group of people to draft with and you honestly probably aren't going to know the people that end up being in your league but you can just draft whoever you want cross your fingers and hope that you get them and then You'll wake up the next day, January 1st, and you'll have your team and you'll be good to go when season starts. So that's pretty much it. Those are the basics. If you guys have any questions, you can send us a message or we recommend checking the Frequently Asked Questions page on the Gymlytics website. It has a lot of the common questions that there are like, you know, how do you set lineups? What are the rules with trading? Things like that. So we recommend checking that out. Or you can also message Jim Chem on Twitter. They're the one who created and runs Gymletics and they're absolutely amazing and they're super helpful as well. We've messaged them a few times in the past with questions and little things that we needed fixed here and there. And they've been just so helpful and amazing. You'll also see on the bottom of the website, you can buy Gymletics a coffee. So if you love Gymletics, you have fun playing fantasy gymnastics, you can consider making a donation as well as a thank you. That pretty much does it. Happy drafting and happy college gymnastics season. Bye. Bye.